Well, having covered various things, um, let's talk about recovery priorities. Um, this is the, the focus on what it is that you want to get back. And the strategy or strategies to do that. Um, so, you know, what are our priorities are fairly obviously the, the mission critical units. And again, remember that, that something that may not be mission critical or business critical may still be a priority because some mission critical activity, unit, function does rely on this. So, um, you know, don't, don't skip some of those uh, uh, less usual priorities. Um, now, uh, we, are, we are focusing on what we need. Um, the actions uh, that we need to take the, the processes we need to follow, the procedures we need to follow in order to ensure that, yes, our, our mission critical units get back up. And remember, this is recovery priorities. Um, we, are, we have been interrupted. We are now in disaster recovery mode. We are no longer uh, leaning on the business continuity. We are trying to get the business back. We have been interrupted. So what do we need to do now to get back in business? Uh, we have had an interruption. So uh, the focus of our recovery activities and strategies, the, uh, the predetermined recovery point objective. We, we talked about the recovery time objective and the recovery point objective. The, uh, you know, what is it that we need to get back in order to be back in business? So we need to, uh, we, we have determined in our business continuity planning what that recovery point objective is. How much how much we need to get back. So plan our strategies around getting that back. Uh, achieving that level of business functionality so that we can function as a business. So we need to look at our resource requirements in order to put these procedures together we need to identify uh, alternatives that are available. And we have different uh, recovery categories. We have the, the business recovery itself. Um, but we also have facility and supply. And, and you know, this is possibly going to be different. The, the business recovery may involve things like reputational damage. Um, the, the business recovery may involve addressing changing market conditions. Um, it is not solely the recovery of the facility, the recovery of our infrastructure, um, those types of recovery operations, which is what we tend to think of and, and tend to fixate on when we are dealing with business continuity planning and disaster recovery planning. So um, we want to expand our, our mindset there in terms of what we need to address. Um, we need to look at recovery of the users. Uh, again, you know, as with the, the pandemic, um, we have our people, uh, uh, some of our people may be negatively affected, uh, otherwise known as dead. Um, the 
you know, the remainder, the, the, the ones that we still have, you know, do we have them? Can we, can we access them? Can we make provision for them to continue their functions so that the business can continue? So that is, you know, part of what we need to address. Um, and then, of course, there are all the technical things. Um, our data. And once again, you know, the, the big issue here is, do we have a backup? Uh, different types of, of backups. Um, I just did my backups yesterday, my weekly backups. And, and I have multiple different backups. I have, well, it doesn't matter what I have, you know, different backups that I make in different ways for different purposes. Um, so that I cover it. So that, you know, well, then we get to the tolerable loss. You know, what is a tolerable loss? What can we afford to lose and still be in business? Uh, so, you know, what, what kind of loss can we tolerate? And again, continue with business or, or recover the business. So we want to, you know, we're in a state where we have lost more than is tolerable. You know, how do we achieve that tolerable loss level with uh, what we have and, and what provisions do we need to make, what kinds of backups do we have to have in, in terms of data to get to that tolerable loss level. Um, there is the, the issue of downtime and, and we addressed that before in terms of, you know, Website for a company, website for Amazon, difference in what is acceptable uh, downtime. Uh, so look at your own situation. Um, what about uh, data loss? And, um, you know, if you're in a, a transactional situation, and we've, we've talked about this in terms of uh, database management and application development, um, you are probably going to lose a certain number of transactions. You know, how much of that is tolerable? Uh, how many of those can you fail to fulfill and, and still not sustain reputational damage? Things like that. Um, looking at clipping levels, what are the, uh, the events, the incidents, the, the negative uh, occurrences that we... Uh, well, that's part of our tolerable loss, in, in a sense. Um, you know, it's it's something that we're not going to worry about. So we have a clipping level. We, you know, we're not going to worry about it until it reaches a certain threshold, a certain number of uh, events or or whatever. Um, interdependencies, and and again, you know, we we've talked about this with regard to mission critical. You know. It, it's mission critical if a mission critical unit depends on it. Uh, and, and once again, with all of this stuff, when, you know, all of these plans, all of this information collection that we need to do, as it starts to give us direction, get management's approval for what we have done, for what we are seeing, for the direction that it seems to be taking us in.